Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for letting me your time and your ear listening into another Game of Stars video from me. And I know you guys have gotten a lot of these from me. Somebody's probably like, man, get back to the goddamn ideas. We need we waiting on those. That's coming soon enough. Work schedule and life schedule has changed a little bit. That's coming back soon enough. Don't worry. It's gonna happen. I already recorded audio for some of them. I just haven't done the production side of things. But um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about uh, the Smash Direct that happened on the 8th, even though now it's like 12 days later and I still haven't had a chance to put one out. That's just unfortunately every time I tried to record one, something happened that kind of screwed <laughs> with me getting it out. But um, so I'm just going to quickly give you my footnotes that I've done like several times. And again, recording has been screwed up a bunch of times. Um, firstly, I was excited as hell that Simon and uh, Richter got added to the roster. Um, Richter being an Echo character for Simon. I'm cool with that. Like, there's another way I would have preferred that going, but it's okay. Like, I'm, I'm just happy that they chose, like, the uh, Super Castlevania 4 version of Simon and not, like, the uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow version of Simon because I can't stand that variant of that character. Um... <clears throat> But that's just my personal experience. I haven't played Mirror of Fate and seen how he acts. I'm like, oh, I don't like this song. Um, <laughs> uh, they also added in Dark Samus and Prom as playable characters, moving them from assist trophies over to playable, which I think that was actually pretty cool. Like, hold on, I don't think Prom was an assist trophy. No, I think, uh, I think he was part of something Robin did. I, I don't remember. It's been a while since I played Smash 4. I think he wasn't a sister. I'm just hoping I'm like mixing things up. Whatever. He they're made playable characters now. They're they're not background characters, I should say. So to make it more uh, to make it more legitimate, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and there's like this thing with Nintendo with killing off characters and stuff. Like first you you had Mario and uh, I guess Mega Man get killed by Ridley. <laughs> <laughs> like possibly kill him. Like I would think that he killed him anyway. Then Luigi dies in in freaking Dracula's castle. <laughs> and like and I heard about the um the reveal for uh Diablo 3. Reggie dying and like what the hell is up with y'all? You just got this morbid thing with death this year? Um but I mean whatever, it's, it's what they're doing. I guess that's how they want to promote stuff, have people dying. <laughs> Um, also, like, really enjoyed the King K. Rule uh, reveal. Like, that was hilarious. Like, there, there was no way, no two ways about it. That that was funny. Like, like, and I was like, I was looking, I was like, why, why are we seeing King DDD and, and Donkey Kong get Diddy? And then they did that. I was like, oh, okay. Like, after after a while, I kind of figured out that that's what it was for. Because <laughs> you got King DDD from there for no reason, making fun of them. And then he basically gets batted away and uh, King K. Rule takes his uh, place on the roster. Like, so I, I'm actually kind of happy he's there. But, like, I me, mean, we got freaking Ridley. There's no reason we can't get King K. Rule. Like, none whatsoever. <laughs> but, um, for the character reveals, I was thoroughly happy with the playable characters. Um, I do wish a few of the assist trophies would have been playable characters, but hey, maybe next round. Maybe Alucard, Knuckles, and Zero get a get a chance next round. Um, hopefully, because like honestly, like you have a, a Mega Man Classic representative in Mega Man, and they could have put Base and Proto Man in as assist trophies. I don't, I don't know. They might actually have because I don't think they revealed everybody that they had as far as assist trophies and playable characters anyway. But. I really wish that there was a Mega Man X representative and Zero would have been the perfect choice since the X series is technically supposed to be about him anyway. <clears throat> but that's an, an aside. All of that looked pretty good to me. Um, the game is going to be packed with content. You've got 100 plus stages, like 900 some odd uh, sound and music compositions. And then think you, you have upwards of just about 80 characters so it's it's a full roster like it is a full roster um the option to have echo characters and um the main characters that they're based off of 
be swappable on your screen or to have them listed separately. Personally, I'd have them listed separately separately because I don't I don't see the point in having them on a square that you push a button on, but it's an option Nintendo added in for other people who might prefer that method more. Me, I don't care. <laughs> like, I, I'd rather they be different. Um, which that works out fine. That, that's perfectly fine to me. Um, they've included a meter mode, I think. That, you know, like, I think it's more like a traditional, it's just like to give it a more traditional fighting game mode. It's fine for the 101s, because you know it's going to be a lot of people that want to do the 101s and stuff. Uh, you have the ability now to turn off stage hazards. Um, as, like you can turn off items and stuff. You have the ability now to turn off stage hazards and you can build up to a final smash giving literally everyone available some moves even though the built up final smash is weaker than the one if you actually hit the smash ball. I like that. It's a nice balance. It's a nice change of pace. It gives more variety to the game. It gives people a better chance like for those big, those big moves to happen while they're playing one on one instead of it just being a bunch of people flailing around in this. I know that's not exactly how it, look, how it is, but sometimes when you watch a match, that's how it looks. <laughs> but, like, but the option to to have your character have a super meter and build up to a final smash, that was a nice touch. I like that. Um, classic mode, all the characters have their own um, list of characters they're supposed to fight through the, through what the number of stages. I think it's like eight. Somewhere between eight and ten. Um, I'm hoping that that means that there's a story mode included for each character, like just like just like an ending thing, like just a little, a few little slides, and say what they've done after whatever, whoever they beat, or whatever. Doesn't make a difference. Like it doesn't have to be there, but to me, I think that would be cool to have there. It would be a nice little touch. Um, the tourney mode is going to be expanded from Smash Four, so there's going to be a lot there. Then there's a what's it? What do they call it? Smash down mode, where you basically, you, like whoever's playing, like you, you're selecting among the available characters to play through the game, play through, and fight each other until there's literally no one left and you have a winner. I love that idea. Like I love that last man standing concept, and they're like that's a good idea that what, that they they threw in there. Like that to me is something I can see happening when you have like a party going on, like and then you have uh, everybody. Like, you could have a party of a ton of shit ton of people available, and everyone could just list, like, you have a list of the characters, and everybody just picks their character, and when their turn comes up, boom, once they're, once they're out, they're out. Again, it, it makes it like the survival series of Nintendo's, Nintendo's uh, party slash fighting game. Uh, but like, and I like that concept. Like, like it really does make it like, like it turns it, it turns Smash into a Royal Rumble. I said Survivor Series. I should say Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble is more uh, accurate to, to to what I'm talking about. And again, I like that concept. I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, and I've listened to some of the remix tracks for the Castlevania themes. If you have not heard them, dude, just go listen. Like these these remixes are good. Like um, amazing quality. And I think actually. You, you could put together a Castlevania game with all the remix tracks for Smash. <laughs> like, and you wouldn't... It, it would still feel authentic to the, to the original games. That's all I got to say. That, that's basically it. Um, they talked about a couple other things, but they're not so important to me because there's still not enough details on it. So I'm not really going to talk about that right now. Like, But overall, the Smash Direct, I liked it. I'm liking it. I enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to when they do another one. So, that's it for me. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff for me. And until the next time, please enjoy the games and peace out.